Let's look at a lithium battery. On the right hand side you've got the cathode which is the positive electrode. On the left hand side is the graphite which is the negative electrode. In the middle you can see a separator. In this diagram the separator is coated with high purity alumina to maintain the integrity of the separator and the separator allows the lithium ions to go back and forth. Now let's look at what happens during the first charge. Lithium ions move from the cathode to the anode and when the battery is fully charged the lithium ions move from the anode back to the cathode generating electricity. And as you can see from this diagram there are some lithium ions that are left at the anode. This is called the first cycle lithium capacity loss which about which is about 8% of the lithium is lost to the battery and it becomes inactive at the anode. Let's look at the molecular level what happens to the graphite particle. Lithium coats the particle in a layer and this layer is called a solid electrolyte interface or the, an SEI layer. The SEI layer allows lithium to penetrate it to the graphite particles so the battery functions well. If you look at the graph of a, a battery performance, you can see this first cycle loss capacity initially. And at the 80% capacity mark is generally the life of the battery. Now hydrofluoric ions in the electrolyte formed from moisture tends to attack the SEI layer. And when the SEI layer is attacked, more lithium ions absorbed into the SEI layer, which means more lithium is consumed during the battery life. At Altec, we've come up with a technology to coat the graphite particle with a thin layer of alumina, and also a submicron alumina particles. Now our technology stops lithium from building around the graphite particle in an SEI layer, which reduces this lithium loss. It, but it also allows the lithium to penetrate into the graphite particle, which means the function of the battery doesn't change. In addition, any hydrofluoric ions in the electrolyte is absorbed on this coating and it renders it an inert material. So it scavenges hydrofluoric ions. Now if you look at the battery performance with a much reduced uh, initial lithium loss you can expect that the battery life to be extended. So at the 80% mark the battery life is extended and we expect there should also be an increased energy density from this innovation. Alltech Chemicals, meeting a sapphire and high purity alumina future.